Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, which is going to be a quick review of the Colors of the World, excuse me, Colors of the World by Fitola. I'm losing my voice, just did my video. I'm losing my voice tonight. Um, but these are the pencils and the crayons. And I just have a swatch for the crayons. The review is mostly centered on the pencils. So, speaking of swatches, I'll go ahead and show you here. Here they are. So, I try to go from lightest where you can barely see up top, down to darker, peachier. On the left hand side will be the pencils, and the right will be the Crayola crayons. So, here is the more lighter tones. And then you switch it over. You start getting more into the golden and more brown tones. And then this one over here, because I ran out of room, is the darkest of the dark. So I wanted to give these pencils the best shot that um, they could. So before I show you, um, show you a picture, I'll show you the pencils themselves. They look kind of like just your average Crayola, but they will have the special branding here, which has colors of the world, then the Crayola, and then your color down at the bottom. Normal Crayolas just have this, so they are specially branded. On top of that, these pencils, now they do have similar colors in the 120 set of Crayola <clears throat> but they are different enough where I feel confident enough to say these are their own pencils. So <clears throat> if you have the Crayola 120 set this would be a good addition to add to your Crayola 120 set because you have so much skin tone possibilities now. So I wanted to give these the best chance they had with some really good paper. And all the pencil work on this, pa uh, this page is from this 24 set. Which I did this page right here. So all of the pencil work is the Crayola Colors of the World set. As you can tell, you can get a nice blend and layering in there. I could have went a little bit more to the face, but I was I just kind of trying to get all of this done so I can of course sit down and do a little video, you know what I mean? So I could have put a shade in a bit more of a face, but I did want to leave it kind of lighter show. And the lighter set, the more mid tone and pinks, and then more of the golden to darker ranges. So overall, these pencils, they are a harder leaded pencil. They are no way, shape, or form going to be as soft as a prism, as soft as an Arteza, as soft as a Castler. They're not. Callum Crayola has up their game over the last few years and they have become softer than they used to be many many years ago um, but your best bet would be to layer them not blend these um you would we want to layer so very soft right handed layers is the best way to go over these see if I can show you on this piece of paper the best way to go about them Let's just get a quick three color. So let's pick a quick three color blend. The best way to go about these would be to just do this. Your first layer very lightly. Then your second layer, once again very lightly. So 
third layer, which is your darkest. And you just keep going back and forth between your mid-tone. Your dark tones. And slowly but surely, go back to your light tone, and look to the gradient, you know what I mean? So these are not going to be, you know, blending pencils, they're not going to be, you know, Something you just do a quick one, two, three blend. These are something you guys want to sit with. And you're going to want to, you know, take your time with it. But as you can see, when you zoom back in, there is not very many white spots. You can build a color up very nicely on these. Now, As a real pre-warning, do not buy these off of Amazon. The reason I say that, to not buy these off of Amazon, the price I found on Amazon was $14. I got these not on sale at Walmart for $3 and... $0.97. Cents. So three ninety seven for the set. That is four, eight, twelve, sixteen, two dollars more. You have forty sets, or uh, four, eight, twelve, a crayon set. Some people, when I'm posting my haul feed, would say they're finding them for just like a dollar, dollar fifty. So check your stores beforehand. Um, because fourteen dollars Amazon is not good. I found them on there for five or four ninety nine. Still better to get them in a store. Overall, though, if you are someone who likes skin tones and you're not, <coughs> excuse me, not afraid of a hard light pencil, these, in my opinion, are a Necessity for your set. I have I picked up two of these sets, and I am just so excited to, you know, just see because I'm here. I did a light skin tone. Her hair could have been a skin tone, you know what I mean? So I really just want to have these in my, you know, coloring arsenal for the fact that I love doing people and coloring in people. And with the crayon set, I now have all of these neutral tones that you can take this, say, what is this, um, light medium, al uh, light medium almond. You would do this whole background and then activate it with, um, Gamsaw or you activate it with a, um, Colorless alcohol blender test your page first. Always test your page first. Um, but yeah, I have 24 different neutral tone backgrounds. All of that. So these are going to be very, very well loved in the coloring collection. So overall, 5 out of 5 stars. I don't know why I just passed around to keep them in my hand. Overall, 5 out of 5 stars. I think, because it is a necessity if you're okay with hard light pencils, these will also be a good gift set to give to maybe like a younger kid who's just getting into art and stuff like that. So that way you could, um, you could, um, give them a more um, budget friendly set to play around with and you can save on the bank so you will get a more expensive skin tone set. So five out of five stars, highly recommend them. 
Can't wait to um, create some fantastic combinations for skin with the set. So, overall, if you have anything um, question wise, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And until next time, have an all amazing day and happy coloring.